Tila is 10. Once upon a time, 10 years ago, a group of people came together with a vision. Think Local Act Personal and the National Co-Production Advisory Group evolved to champion personalisation in health and social care. This short film is an overview of TLAP and NCAG. I'm Sally Percival, co-chair of NCAG, and I'm taking you on a short journey through 10 years. 2011, TLAP developed as a partnership and now has over 50 members from national organisations to niche providers. 2012 The launch of Making It Real It's our vision for what good personalised care and support looks like Personalisation is what we've been waiting for It's incredibly challenging to make real uh, Otherwise you might say it might have happened many years ago But it feels like now is a really important time to make this happen 2013 the Hall of Fame. What do all these people have in common? John, Sue, Miro and Clinton were listed among the most influential disabled people by the Disability News Service. TLAP's Care and Support Jargon Buster won the Plain English Award. Bill, Marjorie and I speak out about our hopes for the CARE Act. There's an awful lot of us and I don't like this term that we're a demographic time bomb because yes. we're not. We're here and we contribute economically to the well-being of the country. The different conversations and different quality of conversations that we're having now compared to three years ago is enormous. We held a personalisation summit, a meeting to discuss getting co-production and personal budgets on the map. We launched a new network, promoting better commissioning and care markets. 2014. Yes, we did it. The Care Act became law. TLAP and NCAG played a role in getting wellbeing at the heart of care and support. 2015. The Department of Health asked us to produce guidance for the CARE Act. It was a year of producing lots of resources. 2016. We're climbing the ladder of co-production. It describes the different stages of co-production. It's still our most popular product to date. People can be involved in many ways, ranging from coercion to co-production, we will explain seven of them. And to make it more fun and easier to understand, we'll use football as examples. 2017. From next month, the chair will be a member of the National Co-Production Advisory Group, a person with lived experience. And that is our commitment to model co-production at a strategic and influential level. Gathering the evidence about self-directed support. The National Audit Office report into personalised commissioning gave POET a positive mention. People with lived experience are at the heart of a new movement and vision for brighter social care. Social Care Futures is a movement we support. 2018, TLAP and partners were invited to share ideas on that promised green paper on social care with colleagues from the DHSC. We launched the all new Making It Real, what good care and support looks like across health, social care and housing. By applying this approach, you can change people's lives for the better by giving them that choice and that control that is so important to well-being. We're doing some work on personalisation in mental health. 
2019. Promoting innovative approaches to community-based support. We worked with partners on the Social Care Innovation Network to find ways that new approaches can flourish. NCAG started work with local authorities on co-production and making it real. We caused good trouble as pirates at the NCAS conference. TLAP and NCAG go stateside to promote international disability leadership. 2020, the year of COVID. We're getting into the corridors of power, pushing forward reforms for social care. I'm inspired and grateful for all the people, particularly those at NCAG, the National Co-Production Advisory Group, that really do share their personal stories. People had to adapt quickly to respond to changing needs. We shared examples of how innovative organisations did this. Our Christmas series of fireside chats with partners explored, challenged and helped us to set our future direction. We published our first independent evaluation. People said some lovely things about us. TLAP constantly produces resources and runs events and webinars. Our latest report looks at what's working and not working in direct payments. TLAP is continually evolving. I want to be able to have relationships with family, friends, professionals and our wider community. Two, I want services to enable me to define my own identity, not labels that constrict thinking like vulnerable long-term conditions. So what's next? The TLAP and NCAG team would like to say thank you to all of our partners, friends and allies. Here's to the next 10 years. <laughs>